Hey Love Fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Melanie K. Love. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. Now this helps you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now get ready because this week is going to be amazing. It's amazing for a number of reasons, but let me just walk you through what's what to expect. So this is going to be from June the 17th to the 23rd. We're going through two phases of the moon. One of them actually is the full moon in 25 degrees of Sagittarius. Now, this is a really important full moon for a number of reasons. It's the last full moon of this current eclipse season that we were in that started in January. And next month, well, Two weeks after this, we're going to be starting the brand new eclipse starting from the 3rd of July. And then we've got Mercury retrograde and there's a hell of a lot of things, a hell of a lot of things that are going on. So it's kind of like the, it's like the final countdown. It's the final countdown. All right. I've actually changed some of my affirmations for the phases of the moon. So let me know what you think. So for the full moon, I said, I am so happy and grateful for this magical supercharged energy. I release my wishes and my worries and celebrate how far I have already come. It's a bit long winded, but I don't know. I just feel like I need to change things up. Speaking of changing things up, I've changed my outfit. I've got a brand new outfit. I've got some lovely nails on and ah, I just kind of feel like I just feel completely different. I don't know. Yeah. I just feel different filming this one. Um, okay. What else do we need to know? Oh, check on the screen right now and I'll let you know what time this full moon occurs depending on where you are in the world. So this is going to be for everyone from Monday, June the 17th. Okay. PDT, this is 1.31 a.m. EDT, 4.31 a.m. GMT, 9.31 a.m. IST 2.01 p.m. AEST 6.31 p.m. and NZDT is 8.31 p.m. Now I kind of read them different. I normally don't say that, that like that, but just bear with me. All right, so things to note. I've taken some notes as to what you can expect. So, ba, 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 ba. okay, so Jupiter is the ruling planet that rules Sagittarius, um, which is, well, we're kind of in, we're already in a Jupiter retrograde, aren't we? Let me just check back. Jupiter retrograde. Yeah, which is the test of love. Jupiter retrograde is a time of philosophical and spiritual introspection and reflection involving growth, happiness, and success. Okay, so that's interesting that this is, we're in Jupiter retrograde. Jupiter is the ruling planet of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is all about generosity, trust, to believe in yourself, and positive vibes. It's a very optimistic um, zodiac sign. So what have I got? You go to extremes, very blunt, take a risk, be very creative and you're coming out of your shell. Yeah. Well, we've been, we've been feeling that for a while. A change is gonna come right now. Hey, hey. What else have I written there? June 2019 full moon is also important because it is the last moon phase of the current eclipse cycle, which began January 5th. I've already said that, blah, 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 which for many reasons is the full moon to make your long-term dreams come true. Remember I said this year is kind of about laying the foundation as to what you can expect for the next 20 to 30 years. Are you in something that you want to be in for the next 20 to 30 years? If not, then there's something that needs to shift. Okay. So that's basically from... Well, this full moon is going to be with us for the next month. But in saying that, we're, as the moon goes through different phases, from Friday to Saturday, we have the disseminating moon. Now, typically the affirmation is, um, <clears throat> ooh, there's a bit of a throat chakra in this one, receiving. Do you feel like you don't deserve what's going to be coming to you? I've changed the affirmation with this one. I said, I am so happy and grateful for all the blessings in my life. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. Oh, cause this one was normally, um, I, I receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. I kind of feel like it's the balance, the yin and the yang. Last week we spoke about, um, what was the card? 
Judgment? No, Justice. That was the overall card. The balance. Let's see what comes up. Basically, that's the phases of the moon. That's kind of what's going on astrologically. Let's see what we need to know based on tarot. <laughs> All right, let's do the focus card for the week. So this is going to be from June the 17th to the 23rd. Also, if you're joining me on the live chat, let me know where you are chatting to me from around the world because I would love to see that. Oh, ooh, did you see how bold that one was? I'm kind of a bit nervous about this one because I kind of feel like it's going to be a big deal, but then I don't want to razz it up too much. Okay, so the focus card for this week is... Ooh, oh, the King of Wands. Ah, that makes sense. So the King is the end. You have gone through it all. Um, risk it all for, uh, for this life we choose. It's all an adventure. It comes with the breathtaking view. Walk in a tightrope with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you've been walking a tightrope. You have paid your dues. I feel really, really excited for you. Um, this is the ones is your creative talents and abilities. So how does this look like? This could be, I don't know what sparks joy for you in your life. What is something, a project that you have been working on? This is, you have gone through, you have gone through very, very many stages. <laughs> you have gone through a lot of stages and you're at the point, point where you're like, Boom, you know, I have done it. Like if you're looking back and you're like, holy shit, what has happened in the last six months? It's been a lot. If I look at me, I'm like, holy heck. I went from living in Australia, then lived in Bali, then lived in Ireland, lived in the UK. And then now I'm at the stage to be like, universe, which way? Is it Ireland or is it Australia? Let me know. So I'm kind of like in that, the waiting patiently stage and I know that the ball is gonna drop. I say that because I watched a movie the other day and it was, maybe it was called New Year's, New Year's. You know, in, the, in New York when you're in, I don't know, what do you call that plant? It's like super duper bright. Anyways, where the ball drops in New York City and how like the ball in this movie, it got halfway and then it kind of like stalled for a little bit, but you know that it's going to drop at the right time. <sighs> I just feel very excited for you. Anyways, basically you have come to an end, you've put in the work, you're about to receive all of this delicious goodness. And you're kind of like looking back saying like, I have achieved so much. If you at the stage where you feel like you haven't achieved very much, what has been holding you back? Because most likely it's been you. All right, Monday. Full moon, what do we need to know? Uh -oh. All right, angels, one card for my beautiful MK Love fam for Monday, the 17th of June. There it is. Ooh, okay, so we've got two cards. It took a while for this one to come through. Maybe because it's been a long time coming. Seven of Swords, interesting card. Swords is uh, challenges, conflicts, deceit. Well, this card, the Seven of Swords is about deceit. This is also about like, this could be you holding yourself back. I kind of feel like that may be a theme. Um, this could be someone that has done you wrong. The full moon, you could be releasing somebody that hasn't been serving your highest good. Releasing where you feel like you need to be. So comparing where you're at to somebody else. Okay, let's see what the other card is. Oh, okay, so the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, this is interesting. Okay, I feel like you're releasing all of this yuckiness, this baggage, this uh, toxicity from your life because you're ready to bloom. Like the Page of Wands is someone who's very much like, here I am, baby. Oh, sound sealed, delivered, I'm yours. So the page is, it's like she, she's just pure positive energy. I keep looking up over to this side for some reason. I don't know what it is today. She is someone who is very much a person of authority. She has other people that are looking up to her. And people are like amazed as to what she's been through. Maybe people are amazed of all of this crap that you have been through. All of the lies and deceit. Interesting that the lies and deceit comes up because Neptune? 
there's something to do with, I don't know, I was look, reading through my astrology and it was saying for, for, for everyone that there's going to be something that's going to be coming out. Like things are going to be exposed that you may not expect, but just know that you can handle it. I think this happened around the time when the Me Too movement happened last year or whenever the Me Too moment, Me Too movement came through. This is like, don't hide back from the pain, face it, release it and set yourself free. And knowing that you can be this person. How does this fit in with the page of King of Wands? I feel like you're healing this. The lies and the deceit, maybe this is you lying to yourself going, oh yeah, we'll start tomorrow, you know? But it's like, do you know that you are already at this stage? And do you know you have so much more to give? Do you know that you are invincible and stoppable? Um, uh, what's that Carrie Underwood song? Champion. I am unstoppable. Okay. So I feel like you're releasing the lies and the deceit, however that looks like for you in your life. But you're already, have you already done it? I feel like you already have. I feel like you're reflecting back, even though this is a full moon, I feel like you're reflecting back over what's happened and you're looking at all the lies and deceits and how you handled it, how you handled it with class, integrity, compassion. Let me move on. Let's see what we need to know for Tuesday. Whoa, we keep getting the twos again. Oh, what the flip? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, Cups is your emotions, so you have achieved a lot. You have freed yourself of all of the baggage. And then we have the Temperance, which is balance. The yin and the yang, finding your balance. So this is a celebration of where you're at emotionally, even though there is a lot of contrast that you have gone through in terms of whatever this creative talents and abilities. I kind of feel like we have been doing a lot of the internal work and the creative talents and abilities, whatever the career stuff looks like for you. I kind of feel like it's been on hold, <clears throat> but you've gotten to the end of the stagnation. I think that's probably the best way to put it. Wednesday, do we need to know? Oh, what the flip, the King of Cups. Okay, well, it doesn't get much better than that. So you have come, overcome a lot. We had the King of Cups, the King of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Temperance. This is an amazing week. This is you restoring the imbalance. You know how we said last week was about the Justice card? Restoring the imbalances in your life. This is incredible. The King of Cups is someone who's very generous as well. Someone who is like sharing his knowledge with other people. Maybe you're using that in what you do. Maybe what you have learned, you're applying that to whatever this King of Wands looks like for you in your life. Thursday, please. Can you see that? Yeah. Thursday. There it is. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the Swords is to do with like conflict and challenges and battles, whatever the battles that you have been fighting, they're probably internal most likely. And the Knight is showing you that you have momentum now. You're on this, some type of feathery animal. <laughs> um, it's like a bird, you're on this bird. You have your sword raised as in like, <clears throat> I'm feeling a lot of, <clears throat> like it's been it's been a tough ride to get where you're at this is amazing i feel very excited for you i feel like the the night is like you're persevering through well you have been doing it for a while and now i feel like you've been you're about to be rewarded this is a very magical time like no, the king and the queen of cups in the same week in the full moon energy what the flip it's like all of this emotional pain that you have been feeling is just about to rest is about to be released you're about to be free from all of this so you can feel like you can breathe again wow okay so friday there's a lot to say i'm gonna pull 
the top one. No, the back one? The back one. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, the Four of Swords is a rest, okay. It's interesting because I feel like this energy that we've been in, especially last week, like when we're in the new moon in Gemini, energy, oh, what was last week? The action phase of the moon. I kind of feel like, because Gemini is like the childlike innocence and also being like the twins is in like the two sides of who you are, that balance. And now you're at a stage where it's, I don't know, why am I bringing this up? The Gemini, the twins, childlike energy, okay. Well, this one here is the Four of Swords. This is hard for me to get out. <laughs> the Four of Swords is basically the coffin position, which means rest. We're resting during this time, you know, because we know we're kind of preparing our energy for what's to come. Does this actually come up? 17, 8, 9, 20, 21. This actually comes on the, um, on the summer or winter solstice. This is the 21st of June the solstice. This is a very powerful time. Oh, now I understand. This is a time where you can, if you meditate on this day, this is a time where you can connect into different realms of consciousness, be more receptive, more intuitive, get more of your cosmic downloads. You know how I've been saying for a while, work smarter, not harder. I really want you either to take this day off or to kind of work half of the day. If you could take the whole day off and just be, what does the rest look like for you? Is this you? I don't know. I just really want you to focus on rest because something is going to come. Uh, you're going to be able to hear something. I don't know. Maybe you're going to get some signs and symbols, synchronicities, angel numbers, something very profound is going to happen on this day. Also, if you are taking that time to rest, you could also be thinking about, planning like where you want this next quarter to be even though it's not really in the planning stage of the moon i'm going to see if i can get some more clarity to decode this one okay the five of wands is contrast moving through a lot of contrast there's been a lot of obstacles so it's kind of like not weighing well it has been weighing you down emotionally even though you have come so far it doesn't mean because you have made so much progress that it was easy the five of wands is, yeah, well, that makes sense for the resting because it's like you're just moving through the obstacles. It's like boom, 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 boom. If it comes up, um, you, you will fight it off, as so to speak. Okay, let me pull the next one. Page of Pentacles. We had that last week. You got that, the world in your hand, but you're patiently, you're going to be making an, an informed decision. Queen of Swords, bloody hell. Queen of Swords is like the mother Somebody wrote in the comments last week a really detailed description about the chrysanthemums. I think it was about peace and unity. I don't know, she's all white, she's very pure. There's no like, yes, you've been through it all, but you're kind of like centered in your in yourself. And then we've got the page of swords. Holy heck. So the page of pentacles and the page of swords. And then we've got the page of wands. We've nearly got every single kind of page. This is like, you know, there's light and darkness around her, but she's choosing to see the light. But she's like, don't you flip a mess with me because you're not going to win. You know, not that it's a, it's like a battle, but it's kind of like you've got that level of boundaries. I think that's probably the best way. So basically I want you to use Friday as a day for your own personal boundaries to rest, to recharge, because there's been a lot that has been going on. That's kind of like been weighing down your soul. I'm gonna to need to be quick, we're already at 22, is that 22? Ah, 22 minutes, ah! Uh, Saturday, please. By, that, by the way, as I was saying for Friday, which is also the summer or winter solstice, solstice, depending on where you are in the world, I'm in England right now, and I would love to not have to wear winter clothes. Um, it's a very powerful day, but it's also in the receiving phase of the moon. Hmm. I'm so happy and grateful for all the blessings in my life. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. Ooh, I love this week. Okay, Saturday. Saturday. Oh, your jeans seem so far away. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, mm, not the best. 
Ten of Swords is allowing what no longer serves you to go. Receiving, giving and receiving. It's like all the negativity and all of this stuff that like all of other people's bullshit that they've been putting on you. You're just like, nope, it's not mine to deal with. I've put in the boundaries. What you're trying to pull at me, there's this shield and it's called personal boundaries, personal space. Do not, why am I talking about personal space in boundaries with that card? What is the other one? Ah, the king of the six of pentacles that is all of that's about the the circle of life no circle of life the interconnectedness of everything we think of like the flower of life everything is joined the giving and the receiving that is perfect for that time of the moon you're giving and receiving you're giving yourself first you're filling your cup up first because you need to say i love me more i am i am lovable because i exist i am fabulous i am wonderful i am creative I'm so happy and grateful now that everything is working out for me. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. I am so happy and grateful that I am where I am and it's okay. Boom. Okay, Sunday. Okay. And... Ah, I'm going to say, can anybody find me? Somebody do. <coughs> <laughs> eight of cups you've basically you've figured out what you want maybe you've got some cosmic downloads you've figured out what the flip you want and you are running for it and nobody is going to stop you you've put in the boundaries you've said i am where i am and it's okay you have made yourself a flipping priority however that looks you have done the internal work you have gotten to a level you have gotten to a massive celebration <coughs> Sorry, God. <coughs> <coughs> and it has been challenging for you. <coughs> I knew this was going to happen today. You knew it was so challenging for you to get to where you are, but now you're like, I know what I want because I've figured out what I don't want based on all the shit that I've been through. I'm very excited for you this week, my loves. Please have a look at my um, free exclusive training if you need help, you know, healing your emotional pain. I specialize in childhood trauma. If you connect the dots looking back, if you're like, okay, this is my current relationship right now, things aren't going too well. And then if you connect the dots looking back, you'll be like, okay, this was what was modeled to me in my childhood. This happened to me. I'm ready to heal that trauma. I'm ready to heal that pain because now I have figured out what the flip I want and I know what I need to change and I am going with it. Yeah, I did it. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh, I'm very excited. Thank you so much for joining me, my beautiful MK Love fam. Wherever you are in the world, like I'm super ridiculously grateful for you. I'll be praying for you for this week, sending my beautiful angels to you. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Follow me on Instagram. That's where all the delicious goodness is coming. I'm gonna be changing things up and posting again on my, on my feed. And I'll talk to you soon. I love you so much. <clears throat> Bye.